Hi, my name is Adam. I'm a mobility specialist at Psyonic. I'm gonna show you how to put on your neural sleeve. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the storage bag, open it up and take the sleeve out. We'll go ahead and open it up, undoing the Velcro. And let's check to make sure all the sleeve covers are in place. They're often referred to as storage covers. And make sure you can see your loop here. You're gonna put your leg through this loop, but first we'll take off our shoe. And then feed your foot and your leg through the loop, pull it up so that the loop is behind the kneecap and your kneecap is in the center of the sleeve. We'll pull down the top of the sleeve, folding it forward, exposing the quadricep storage cover. And we'll remove that cover, exposing the gel pads. Be sure to adjust any clothing that might get in the way of your skin and the gel pads. And then we'll apply that to the top of the quadricep as symmetrically as possible. Press those in place and then we'll move on to the hamstring. So we'll grab the flap out here, flip it over the quadricep and remove the next cover. And again, make sure no clothing will get in the way of these gel pads getting to the back of your leg on the hamstring. Put a little tension on the sleeve here, stretching it out and then feeding it through the leg. Finally, go ahead, close up the Velcro, press all the electrodes down, make sure they're adhering to the leg properly. Next, we'll focus on the shin and the calf. And the first thing we're gonna do is identify the shin muscle, also known as the tibialis anterior. We'll take the finger, the index finger, on the side of our sleeve, go right into the center of the kneecap. We're gonna go straight down past the patellar tendon until we find the very, very tippy top of the shin bone. It forms like the bow of a ship. It's kind of sharp. And then we're gonna move off to the side here. We might be a little too high, so you might feel some bone. So you just go down an inch or two and then this is the muscle that we're gonna to try to place the gel pads on. Another way to check to make sure you're in the right spot is by dorsiflexing your foot with whatever activation you can do, and you should feel that muscle harden and move around. Okay, now that way we located that spot, we'll remove the storage cover. And we're gonna to try to get this electrode, the one closest to the kneecap, on the spot that we located earlier. We'll also be using the three dash lines here to make sure we don't overlap on the shin bone. We'll now roll down the sleeve. I like to make sure I can still see this line here as I place it just to the side of the shin bone. And then I roll the other electrodes down right behind it, making sure they go down in a pretty straight line. Doesn't have to be perfect. But then we'll press those electrodes in place and move on to the calf. For the calf, we'll put a little more tension here and feed it through the leg. Getting the gel pads to stick to the calf by pressing them on. And finally attaching the Velcro. Now since everything's closed up, we'll do one more pass of pressing everything in place, even the top part. And then we'll shift our attention to our control unit. We'll open up the sleeve here and slide the control unit in. This prevents any unnecessary stress to the cable. And then we can connect it. 
And when you go to turn on the control unit, I like to open up the sleeve pocket, press a button. You can, however, press it through the sleeve as well. Now that you're all set up, we're ready to get started.